it's been a long time that I've been in this body. I haven't really known anything else, but it's been a good body for me. It's been a healthy body. And uh, when I see my cardiologist, he says, my only problem is that I just don't know how old I am. <laughs> in movies, the bodies of aging women serve as a punchline, but I don't know what the joke is. Somehow, the greatest threat is not Jack Torrance chopping down a door to murder his family, but an older woman in a bathtub. Somehow, there is nothing more grotesque than the aging female body. Fear is one of the most powerful emotions in the universe, and we're made to feel terrified of any proof that our bodies have withstood time, when it's really the most precious gift there is. Ever since I was little, I've loved my grandmother's body. I enjoy my life. I see something every day that makes me happy. It's a red bird or a mockingbird. I love her arms and how hard they've worked. And I love her smile when she greets me at the door. I love her hands that wave goodbye to me when I pull out of the driveway. There's just happiness in, in my everyday life and I look forward to Waking up in the morning and seeing what that new day is going to bring. <laughs> I give my strawberry crop. I've always seen people who are more beautiful, so I never put myself up on that pedestal. But there was one day as I was going to a, a function for the chamber that was a real dress up affair. Uh, I was Chamber of Commerce Executive Director in Forest, Mississippi. And on the way to the party, um, a friend drove up in a motorcycle, and I was standing talking with him for just a minute. And the lady next door walked outside, and she said, Oh my goodness, I thought I saw an angel out there. <laughs> so I guess I had to feel pretty special. It's hard to be in a world that equates beauty with youth. It's hard to exist in your body at all sometimes. Uh, I love having the children around, and they seem to enjoy coming home, and that makes me very proud. It's a nice home to come home to. Thank you. I, I think uh, Mr. Rogers probably has the finest advice for anybody. Let everybody know that you are what you are and that you're proud of what you are. I'm trying to remember that I can still sit under a blanket and feel warm. I can feel someone else's hand in mine. I can hear what it's like for someone I love to laugh and my fingers can wipe away someone's tears. Live one day at a time and uh, put as much love, and joy, and happiness into that one day as you possibly can. We cultivate friends through our lifetime. Are you kidding me? Bit my bad. We love you too. And our time together, Julia, has been so precious and uh, has meant the world to me. Thank you. Our bodies are a map of who we've been. The joy and sorrow and pain and love and beauty. A catalog of emotions and experiences and snapshots of life. I love you. I love you too, my darling.